Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh, I am a solution architect. In this session, we will be talking about how to deploy a Angular application on PCF platform. Before we deploy Angular application on PCF, let's first understand how the PCF deployment process works. Then we will be building the Angular application and then we will have a live demo I will be showing you how to deploy the angular application on PCF so let's first understand what is PCF deployment process when we deploy any application on PCF we do run a simple command called CF push what CF push command does is three steps first one create app the create app is not a application creation command it is a command to store the metadata of the application to database and what does that mean is that when we push the application we we put the manifest file which defines what the application metadata will be like what how much memory you need what is the name of the application how many instance you want so that a whole metadata information will be stored into the cloud controller database. Second step will be to upload the, all the files of that current folder where we are running the CF push command. So it will store all the application files into the blob start. The third step will be the app start. So this app start is not about the actual application start but it has a process of creating the droplet for the application. What is the meaning of droplet is that when we run an application it needs a runtime environment. So in PCF process when we deploy any application it first identify what is the build pack will be required to build a runtime environment around that application. So if it is a Java application it will be finding the java build pack download it and then create a jvm around it and then it will create a droplet which will consist the application as well as the runtime environment and then upload it into the blob store in angular application it will be doing the same so in angular case it will be using the static file build pack which will use the nginx server and it will create the runtime environment around that and create the droplet and upload into the blob store once the droplet is stored in the blob store it will report back this to the cloud controller and the cloud controller will start the staging application So starting the staging application is nothing but to create a new container where the droplet means your application along with the runtime environment will run and in the final it will show us the status as successful or failure. So the high level just remember there are three steps while deploying the process. First uh, it will upload the metadata into the database. It will upload the application files into the blob store and then it will create the droplet and start the droplet eventually the application will be started now let's go to the actual demo of the angular application and see how we build the angular application and deploy into the pc so what i have done is i have taken a sample application which you can create it by running the ng new and the application name command it now once you have this application in local you can test it by running the simple command called ng serve once we run this command it will be starting a local server and hosting the application on 4200 so now if you see that application has been started we can now hit the URL 4200 and we can see that the application is up and running 
so we have tested the application is running in the local to deploy this application into PCF we need to ensure that we build the application in a production way so to build the application for the production like application we need to run the command called ng build hyphen hyphen prod so when we run this command what it does is it creates a folder dist where it will be putting all the files which are required to be there at the runtime to run the angular application is it will also apply the minification and chipping all the code to make it minimize code what it helps is that the smaller the size you have for your production deployment artifact and faster to deploy and run on the PCF so if you look at it the size of this production ready code has been reduced drastically now what I will do is in this folder I will create the manifest file which I talked about earlier we are going to put here is that I need 512 megabyte of memory for this and I need the build pack of a static file build pack. if I don't mention even though the PCF is smart enough to find it out as a best practice we should be all we should always be defining the build pack for application and here we can also define the how many number of instances we want to run for that application so once we create this manifest file now we can push this application to PCF so I'm going to run a command called CF push so what this command is going to do is it is going to refer the local folder and try to find out the manifest file in that folder which will have the metadata of this application and once it captures that metadata then it will be creating the app we talked about this so while creating the app it will store the metadata into the database then it will upload the files so it is not trying to upload the files of the application into the blob store after that it will be doing staging the application and in, after that it will be starting the app so once the app is started we will see the successful message we will also notice that it is providing the routes which is the URL which we can use to hit the application so if we take that URL and hit it we will see that the same application which was running in the local it is running on the PCF now, you will be asking me the question we have understood that it uses a static file build pack but which server exactly it is running on so in the static file build pack it is using the nginx as a web server and it is loading all your application files into that web server and it is running on it now one more thing you need to remember is that nginx is a web server which uh, can be configured based on a configuration file so if you want to make any changes to that configuration of the nginx server what you can do is you can create a file called static file uh, you can go to the documentation of the cloud foundry and in this url you can see what are the configuration we can do in this file so far we have seen that how to deploy angular application on nginx server using static build pack but there are few developers who are also want to deploy their angular application on node.js as well so if you take my opinion then I would prefer hosting angular application on nginx rather than on node.js because it will give you better performance on nginx because it's a actual web server node.js is just javascript runtime environment so you can export a better throughput in nginx compared to node.js there is a one use case where 
I see that developers are more going on to the Node.js server. The reason is that if they have the backend API being developed in Node.js, then they put their UI on a Angular and backend on Node.js together in one component, and that's where they host both on the Node.js server. But that is also not architecturally correct. If you follow the microservice concept, then you should be separating out your UI from your backend API and so that you can scale them as per your need. Still, if you want to uh, deploy your application on Node.js, uh, it is doable and you can even do that in PC as well. So let's quickly go to the code. Uh, because in Node.js case, we need to understand that how we can route the request to the Angular application from the Node.js server. When we start a Node.js server, it will be listening to a particular port like 8080. But once the request come to that port, you need to redirect all the requests to the index.html. So in the Node.js application, you will generally see a main JS file which you would require the express library in that and using that you can start the server, uh, configure the server and then you can listen to the server port. Uh, in this case, we are defining it as a 8080 by default port. And here if you see that what are the request is coming I am going to redirect it to the angular 6 start index HTML um, and if you look at the root path it is about the dist folder so as we talked about earlier that when you build a angular application you run the command ng build prod and when you do that, it will create the dist folder where it will have all the Angular related production files. I will first do ng build hyphen hyphen prod so that it will build the production files for Angular and put it into the dist folder. I have now once it is build is done, I will just start my node server dot js what it is going to do is it is going to start a node server and if you see it is listening on the port 8080 so when, when i hit my application on local host 8080 then it will go to the server dot js and then redirect the request to the index html of angular so now if you see we have got the same application which was running as in Angular directly on the Nginx. Now it is running on the Node. So let's try to now push this application to PCF. So if you look at the command again, same, we are running the CF push command. It is going to use the manifest file from this path and then started creating the route, creating binding the route with the application and then downloading all the build back okay now in this case if you look at the manifest file so here we have not defined any build pack in earlier case we defined the build pack so it downloaded only that particular build pack look at here now for starting the application it has downloaded all the build pack because it doesn't know which build pack will fit to this one once it downloads all the build pack then it will scan the files and then it will find it out. That's the, it's a good practice to put the build pack name in the manifest file so that it reduces the time for deploying your application into PCF. Now once this is done, application will be started and it will give us the URL which we can use to run the application. So let's quickly copy this URL and now we will be just setting this URL and you can see that application is also run. So we have seen two ways of deploying our application on PCF. One is through a static file build pack and the other one is Node.js build pack. So that's all for this session. 
if you have any queries you can put it in the comments section and if you like this video please do subscribe this channel thank you very much